reforestation process in the Amazon started back in the 70s, so it's a quite old process. And the actual peak of the forestation and fires happened in 2004. And after that, after 2004, uh, we have been seeing a very steep decrease in this deforestation uh, uh, rates in the Amazon forest. In normal conditions, the, the, the rainforest is uh, it's always very wet. For fires to take place, there always have to be some human intervention there or some human activities going on there. So my research tries to understand what happens to these remaining forests after deforestation takes place. So what we know is that the remaining forests uh, are affected by something called edge effects. So these edge effects is uh, it's something that we used to describe the changes in biodiversity and changes in microclimate that occurs in the border, this new border formed by deforestation. And at the same places we are collecting uh, microclimate data, so we are uh, installing a network of uh, microclimate sensors that will monitor, uh, for instance, temperature and soil humidity every 15 minutes and the sensors can be collecting this data for up to a decade so we can also do some long-term monitoring of these changes. Once you have the forest goes down, you change the energy balance of that area. So you have less water being lost through evapotranspiration. You have uh, higher uh, surface temperature because of that as well. Um, and these, in the long term, may also cause reduction in rainfall in that area. It takes uh, more than 100 years for uh, all the biodiversity and all the ecosystem process to return to its normal condition. So preventing is the most important thing, and this can be done f through different approaches. The big guys there, the big companies, have already realized that the first station does not look good for the image of the Brazilian product. If consumers start to get more and more uh, conscious about what they're buying and where the, their products are coming from, then I think uh, this kind of mentality will start to spread also to smaller uh, farmers that are still uh, doing these old practices of slash and burn.